All right, guys. Um, just got done shooting a little thing for mint and got some food for the girls. They're eating now. I ate a little bit. I'm going to eat a little bit. But I have a commercial shoot in the morning that I want to start tethering. So I'm going to start tethering. So I have everything put together. Um, and I'm going to set it up with you guys. It's my first time tethering ever. So it's a new thing for me. So if you guys are tethering, awesome. I'm using an iMac, a Canon 5D Mark IV, some tethering cords that I got on Amazon and um, Lightroom on this baby. So I'm going to get it set up. We'll just work through it together and see how we get it. All right, camera so we can shoot. Uh, it's called a jerk stopper and it's meant to go on both sides of the cord of the tethering cord so that if somebody were to kick it or move it, it doesn't pull off. And this is a Tether Pro USB 3.0 cable, USB to micro B, 15 feet long. You want something long so that you're not stuck because it'll be tethered to the computer. You don't want to be too far from it. Ooh, it says hola, hola music. Cool, simple tripod. It's pretty good and sturdy. If you guys want the links to these, let me know. Cool. Nice and portable. I do wish, and I don't think it's in there, that they had a, uh, a case for this. Cool, super simple. All right, so we got that, which means we can take our laptop and put it right up here. Make sure that's nice and tight. There are little things here so you can hang stuff. Um, I'm sure they have accessories that go with it. But how cool is that, right? Have this kind of set up here. Love that, I'm gonna open up Lightroom. And I'm, I haven't done any research on this. I'm hoping it's plug and play. So let's open up the tethering cord here first. I love that it's bright and orange. Uh, they sell them in black and white and all that, but orange, um, you know, you can't get hit. People can uh, see it easily in the studio. We're gonna plug this side into our computer here. It's our USB. So this company is called Tether Tools, guys, and they make it specific, all the cords and everything are made specifically for it. One of the fears that I'm having is that it's gonna take forever to actually get onto um, the computer. So it looks like I have this USB thing, boom, right in there. All right, it's a little bit loose. Um, it's a little bit loose. So these jerk stoppers are... All right, so we got a jerk stopper here. It looks like this one. Okay, the corded one goes on to my camera. So it goes onto my camera. So this goes through the loop. You feed it through the camera strap holder. And then this just goes, oh, that's cool. This just goes onto this and then you just find a way to do that. And then this now will attach like so. And the goal is, is all the pressure, that's cool. All the pressure is on this cord now, is on this. So if somebody were to kick it, it'd pull off of this rather than this. So you just wanna make sure that you have, I guess, extra space right there. That's really cool. Let's see if I can tighten this just a little bit more. Yeah, you can, it's just little grooves. That looks cool. All right, the other end has a little, uh, looks like just a little dongle to go into. Well, I only have one USB on one side. I don't have another. Okay, so I have to use the USB on the other side. Uh, it's supposed to fit in this. It 
It doesn't fit. And it's showing a MacBook, so it looks like it's supposed to fit onto the USB dock here. And then it's the same thing, so it goes on the USB dock. And then this is like, this is loose, this is tighter, 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 tighter. So let's see. That just doesn't work. That doesn't work. So I mean, I can use it on the camera, but I don't think I can use it on this. Which is kind of dangerous, because I mean, you don't really want it to be pulled out while you're shooting. It just doesn't fit in the USB. Like at all. Oh my god, for real? Yeah, that doesn't fit. Hmm. I mean, the USB is pretty universal, right? So I have two USB ports. I mean, I can shove it. I mean, I don't freaking like that at all, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. The image shows um, my MacBook has a USB on both sides, not two on one side. So I think I'm gonna do something like this. Like that. Cool, so now if it gets pulled, the MacBook will fall, but this will stay in. And that's really what you want because if you're transferring data, you don't want this thing to rip off here. All right, whatever. I mean, it, it works to work, but better beware. I bought it way too late to do anything. Okay, so now we're here for tethering. Um, I have my, I do have Lightroom on this, um, this thing, but I don't use it at all. I just have it on here. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that it works. If you guys wanna get in detail of how to actually use it with this, um, this might not be the video for you. Let's go into, oh, let's go into our library view. Cool, so under file, tether capture, start tethered capture. Super simple, let's call this J test. Uh, segment photo by shots. I don't know what that means. Um, sample J test one DNG. Um, so you name it, whatever. So if you're shooting for a company, you can say, you know, renown or whatever like that. One of my companies, sorry if you guys can't really see this, but, um, location choose user Jeremy Lou pictures. I'm actually going to throw something on the desktop here. Um, so that it doesn't actually go to my pictures and when I don't need them anymore, I can just delete them off. So, uh, light room tethered. I don't know, I'm a simple guy with simple things, simple needs. So we're gonna go choose location. We're gonna go to our desktop, light room tethered, choose that. So now it's gonna go there. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. Metadata, none. And that's it. I thought there was a way that you can actually, uh, I thought there was a way you can actually, oh my God, my face looks huge on the side of this camera. Um, I thought there was a way that you could actually um, input some presets into it as well. So maybe like black and white or something to show the client what it's supposed to look like. But I do not see that option right now. I'm gonna turn this off, on again. So when, it's, when it comes on, it should show you guys your main screen, but when it's working, it'll show a little, uh, looks like a little computer on here. Busy. Busy. Come on, guys. I'm gonna see if there's an update for this Lightroom. All right, guys, come on down.
All right guys, figured it out. I had to uninstall Lightroom, reinstall it because the check for updates wasn't working. I was at Lightroom 6.0, it's all the way to 6.14 now. So I uninstalled it, installed it, and it works now. So it wasn't working with the 5G Mark IV and that was the biggest issue. The 5G Mark IV hasn't been working or they added it in 6.08. So it's been a while, so I updated it on my laptop and it seems working fine. I keep it, it keeps freezing every once in a while, so I have to keep that in mind when I do it. But let's see how this works. All right, so we are going to go over there. Stop. So my settings are adjusting on here as well. It shows my settings. Right now the autofocus, there it is. Takes about five seconds. That's what we're testing now. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one, four seconds. So I have to count four seconds before taking each picture. Otherwise we go too heavy, but I wonder if I can just blast them like normal. The cool thing with Lightroom is that it shows up on the screen, but it also saves it to my memory card in here as well. So I don't have to rely on these. I can delete them. I can just take my memory card, upload it into regular Lightroom and be fine like my normal workflow. Um, of course, this was your regular studio. Then you can, it's already on here from here. It's already saved. The previews are there. You can just go in and, and work from there. Work to it. Yeah. Ready? Work it. Give it to me. Good. <laughs> Give it to me, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, busy, it's busy. Shot too fast. See, it's loading right away. It's loading, cool, so that worked out. We're gonna have this for a shoot tomorrow.